Hi, my name's Chelsea and I'm here to share sort of my Candy Cross bike jewel dog sport story. Um, I got into sort of the dog sports about three, four, about three and a half years ago, three years ago. Um, so I got into it with my red and tan Kelpie Kai, um, who, I don't know if you can see him, having a snooze. Um, I got into it with him. Um, we, we did a bit of agility, but he always found the environment quite stressful. He's a bit of a mummy's boy. He's nervous reactive, so he didn't like being away from me in the ring. So if I'd send him off to go do a tunnel, he found it a bit scary to go leave me. Um, he wanted to be by me most of the time. And he didn't like being in that environment with all the dogs. So it was actually my uncle. My uncle um, sort of breeds and races Alaskan Malamutes. Uh, so big heavy freight dogs and he said about canny cross and bike jaw and naively I assumed it was sort of a sled dog sport so only really suitable for husky types and stuff like that um, but in reality it's for everyone so he mentioned that sort of told me where to get um, I don't know what are you nibbling um, <laughs> told me where to get all the gear and um, sort of set me up um, to begin with so Got into the Canny Cross initially when I moved down to Devon, joined Devon Canny Cross. Um, really helpful, they sort of encouraged us along. It was great. Um, we got Nero as well. Um, Nero was my um, little rescue. Oh, are you gonna go? No? Yep, she's gone. Um, was my little rescue puppy I got. Um, we took him in, because he's had quite a few homes by about 20 weeks old, so. He took to it too. He was a natural. He just adored running, um, which was great. So, uh, at the time, I had the two. And then we eventually started dabbling in the bike chore as well, which was a bit of a different round, but it was great because the canny cross sort of gives you the basis you need for the bike, um, as in terms of like teaching your dogs left, rights, on buys, and things like that. So, we progressed the bike quite well. If you ignore my bike skills, as anyone will tell you, anyone who's been to Noonan Park knows I'm not the best on the bike. My dogs are great, me not so much. Um, but yeah, it helped that they already knew the commands. Um, and then maybe 12 months ago, we got Nala, who was sat here a minute ago. So she's been a bit of a slow and steady building up to racing, but um, she loves it. She really does. Um, we're just sort of getting a headspace right to get out and compete. So we did compete on the rig um a month or so ago which was amazing it's a great feeling it's a great thing to run with any dog like it is a privilege to be able to do that and to sort of work as a team but to run three on a rig was next level it was it was amazing gives you a real real buzz all to work work together with with these dogs as well some dogs you share your house with um your companions and sort of like your teammates as well essentially um so that's really cool. So she's getting into racing as well now. But the best thing I found... Hey, Nero. This is Nero. Um, the best thing I found has been um, with Kai. <laughs> Can't, Nero, lie down. Um, with Kai. He's um, nervous reactive. So he... Before, he'd be really nervous in a sort of environment surrounded by lots of dogs, which a race is. Um, but now... Sorry, everyone's being really annoying. <laughs> but now um, he's really confident, actually. You go to a race, he's a bit gobby on the start line, but he is a Kelpie, Kelpies make noise. Um, but you put his harness on, he's got a job, he's got a focus, and he's in an environment where normally he'd be really scared. Like, he wouldn't like running alongside other dogs. But he runs and he runs and he's so focused and he loves it that he will run next to other dogs, he'll run in a team of dogs, he'll canny cross next to other dogs, he goes on group runs and he's absolutely fine. He feels confident enough to do that, which is amazing. Um, he also had knee surgery um, just over a year ago as well. So the canny cross in particular, as his re like recovery and rehab come back, um, the canny cross was great for building up that muscle again and was actually recommended by um, the rehab professionals that were helping treat him, which was um, really nice to hear. Um, but yeah, they all three dogs enjoy it. Um, Nira's the natural, he's the speedy boy. Um, <laughs> and the Kelpies really enjoy it too for various reasons. Um, but yeah, if it's important to know that it isn't just um, sort of sled dogs. It isn't just big speedy dogs. There's beagles, there's terriers, there's 
Kai on the kitchen side. Kai! Um, <laughs> but yeah, they it is for everyone and there's a mixture of people, mixture of ages, so it's something you can really get involved with even if you don't do it competitively. It's a great a great sport to be involved with and I'd really recommend finding like a local canny cro- canny cross club by you if you can to get involved as well if you have a dog. Um but yeah, we we, we love it. <laughs> Sorry my dogs are really naughty. Good point.